and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a big picture look at the world of authentication for our administrators. Also, some options that we have regarding where those user accounts are and how we can use multi-factor authentication to make them even more secure. So regarding admin accounts who can work with and manage the firewall, let's imagine this is firewall one. And by default, there's a local user called admin. And that's the one we initially connected the firewall with and use. However, if we have multiple administrators, we don't want to just use that one admin account because if we have four or five people logging in as one account, then the accounting regarding who did what becomes very blurred because it just looks like this one user account did all the work. When in reality, it could be two or three different people using that account. So instead of using that one account, we could create additional local accounts here on the firewall. So maybe we create another user account called admin 2 dash local and admin 3 dash local. And then the individual administrators could log in with those specific accounts. And that way, all their activities on the firewall from a management perspective, they'd be logged, not only regarding what the action was, but also the user account associated with those changes and modifications. So it's gonna be very, very helpful for accounting to have individual user accounts. So local accounts are fine if you have like one firewall, but what if we have like 10 firewalls or 100 firewalls? <laughs> Creating local user accounts on 100 firewalls is not reasonable. So we might wanna to move to a remote authentication solution which would involve a remote authentication server. So if this guy right here is Active Directory and it's running LDAP, and we already have LDAP integration from the firewall to this LDAP server, we could once again use that LDAP server and have administrators that are being authenticated against that LDAP server. So perhaps we create a couple of users such as fg-admin2-ad, and that would be created over here in Active Directory and accessible via LDAP. And let's go ahead and put one more in, fg-admin3-ad. And that way when we see those names, we'll know exactly where they are. We also could create a group. Let's call this fg-admin group, and then include them as part of that group. And here's a challenge if a administrator logs in to the firewall with only their username and password being required at the firewall. The problem is this, if somebody steals that password, and they can then log in as that administrator, that unauthorized person now has the access to the box that that administrator would have had, which is not good. So an additional step that we wanna take is with MFA. Sometimes it's referred to as 2FA, and we'll take a closer look at why that is in an upcoming video in this set. But in either case, what we're doing is we're using multiple factors to verify that the administrator is truly who they say they are. So that even if a password is stolen, by an attacker, the attacker won't be able to successfully log in in the future because we've implemented a 2FA or MFA authentication method, which requires more than just the password to get access to the system. And Fortinet has an amazing feature called Forta Token as part of the multi-factor authentication. So in this set of videos, I've got a video just dedicated to Forta Token, setting it up, another one for verifying that it's working. So here's what you and I get to. Let's start off the next video with local admin authentication, and then we'll proceed to move over to a remote authentication using LDAP. Then we'll go over to groups, and then we'll cap it off by adding multi-factor authentication as well. So I'll see you in the next video as we tackle local admin authentication on the FortiGate. Until then, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribe right here to get the latest information from CBT Nuggets. And if you're new to or considering a career in the world of IT, Head on over to CBT Nuggets and sign up for a free trial.